One of the questions that I always get is where I get my accessories. And to be honest, I get them at the most random stores. I don't have a particular store where I shop for my accessories. I get them at places like Forever 21, H&M, random bazaars, my mom's. But as of late, I've been getting my trendy yet cheap accessories from Shopee. So I thought of doing this video where I'll share with you my recent accessory purchase from Shopee and also give you guys some quick tips, some basic accessorizing tips that you guys can use to elevate your outfit or elevate your style. If you guys find that interesting, let's go ahead and jump into the video. First thing that I want to show you guys is a pair of chunky earrings. Earrings are like my go-to, so I made sure to get some chunky earrings. Here is a pair of gold statement or chunky earrings that I got from Shopee. All of these are gold because I prefer my accessories to be in gold because it's silver. It looks better that way and gold is like a classic, so it really helps elevate your style. And I like this particular pair of earrings because it's just lang siya, pero it really looks expensive. Kahit sa totoo lang, sobrang mura lang niya. I will indicate the prices below or sa screen para malaman niyo kung magkano ko lang sila nabili. If you're wondering, lightweight lang siya. Hindi siya mabigat. It would not be a concern for you. Pag sinuot ko na siya, actually parang wala ka lang talagang suot. That's how lightweight it is. This, I think, is something that I can throw on for whatever outfit. People will be drawn sa ears nyo and it would look as if you tried. So, I really, really like this. Next pair that I got is also a pair of chunky gold earrings like this. It really screams bougie and stylish. Although, I have to say that if you plan to pick it up, you have to take note that this one is a tad bit heavy. For me, it's okay, but if it's your first time wearing something chunky like this, you might feel that there's some weight to it. Pero pag nasanay ka na, wala na siya, hindi mo na siya mapipil. Compared to the first pair, I think this one looks a bit more on the formal side. So, meron siyang pinipil yung look, pero it will be good to pair with dresses, ganyan, or yung mga formal clothes nyo or the ones that you wear sa office, this will really, really look good with them. Now, dito naman tayo sa mga necklaces kasi I kind of went home with the necklaces that I will be showing you. I wanted to try the layered necklaces trend. So, I picked up five designs from Shopee. This one is a chain and lock combo. Ayan. If you guys watch my Zaful haul or Tai Tai haul, I was wearing a similar one but in silver. Yun naman is from Tiffany Co. So, it's a bit expensive. Ayoko naman siyang isuot palagi. So, I picked up a cheaper version of it pero in gold para maiba naman. Gusto ko naman dito, mahaba siya. So, I can customize the fit. Kasi yung sa Tiffany, medyo maikli siya. So, hindi ko na siya ma-customize. Ito, kung gusto mo mahaba, ayan, pwede. Tapos, kung gusto mo naman siyang sikipan, pwede rin. I see myself wearing this on its own. But I also feel like this will look good layered with other necklaces. For example, this one I'm wearing right now. If I layer this with this one, I feel like it's gonna be good. Now, ito namang suot ko, I think, is the daintiest that I got out of the five that I picked up from Shopee. This is a three-layer necklace na meron siyang parang eye design. Good for uh, pairing with something na statement gaya nitong earrings na suot ko. So, I really like it. And meron siyang parang mga rhinestones or parang cubic zirconians dyan. If you wanna try the layered necklaces trend, pero hindi ka naman yung sobrang bababoom talaga yung gustong design, then you can check this one out kasi very dainty lang siya. Ang gusto ko dito sa mga layered necklaces na to, in the future, pag nagsawa na ako sa design nila, pwede kong tanggalin tong dalawa or tanggalin yung isa, ba So, mapapalitan yung style niya or makocustomize ko siya. Marunong naman kasi ako magputing ting ng mga ganito because my mom or my parents used to be in the same or in the jewelry and accessory industry. Now, next is another layered necklace. Oh, this one is also dainty if I say so myself. Ito naman yung kanyang design. Para siyang 
inverted na moon. I don't know what this is. Pero ito siya. And then, meron triangle dito. Meron din siyang mga rhinestones sa kanya. So, it's really, really pretty. I like this one too. It's very girly, very chic. This I see myself wearing kapag ang suot ko yung mga very girly na outfits. So, very girly, very dainty lang na mga outfits. This will fit perfectly with those. And I like that I can also pair that one with my other chunky earrings. Diba? Hindi tayo tumigal sa 3 layer. Nag 4 layer tayo, Beshi. And this one, mahaba siya talaga. Anything na merong mga heavenly bodies, yung mga constellations na attract talaga ako sa ganung design. That's why I picked it up. And this one is so nice to pair with really simple tops naman. Kasi, Four layer siya, so talagang dito yung center ng attention, de ba? Now on to the last pair and also the most extra out of them all. Ito naman is a chunky gold chain necklace and meron siya ng mga parang coin necklace thingy at saka itong parang dog tag na style. Tapos meron siya nitong chain necklace and itong manipis na chain lang. If you guys are looking for something similar na mura, so here you go. I also recommend this one. Kailangan ko lang ng mga ganap to style them but I'm really happy with everything that I got and the fact that I only spent under 500 pesos for all of the things that I showed you is amazing. If that is not a steal, I don't know what is. Now that I'm done with the haul, I want to give you guys some tips on how you can start accessorizing. If you've been scared of accessorizing or incorporating accessories into your wardrobe or into your style, baby girl, I'm telling you, you should not be afraid because it's really fun to play around accessories. Whenever I'm wearing something simple, I always make sure that I put on something that is a statement piece. Like I said, earrings or a big chunky necklace will do. Either of the two actually. If ayaw mo na sabay sila kasi baka masyado namang baba boom or out there. Maybe one one of the two items you can wear. Imagine wearing a top like this one that I'm wearing right now. Tapos maglagay ka lang ng chunky earrings. Okay na okay na yun girl. As in, pasok na yun sa banga. Accessories though is not limited with earrings, necklaces, rings. Pwedeng pwede ring mag accessorize through belts, let's say, or hats, sunglasses. Those are also accessory items. So, for example, white shirt and a jean combo. Try to tuck in your shirt or tuck in the front of your shirt, wear a belt and then sunglasses with it and let's say a dainty pair of earrings your OOTD will look so much better after another accessorizing tip that I can give you have to remember that your accessories should complement what you're wearing and not clash with it or let's say meron kang suot na merong touch ng pink or color pink then maybe you can find let's say a stud earring na color pink or meron kang um, bracelet na merong mga maliliit na pink detail to tie in your color palette. Just try to experiment and eventually you'll find your style. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at mycity underscore. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye! One, two, three! Fuck it! My darling, I love you, I love you.